Okay, this is Victrola Man again, and I'm here with a uh, phonograph that I have not featured yet. This was the first Edison Diamond Disc phonograph in my collection, and rightly so that it was an A250, which was the prototype of every Diamond Disc machine to follow. This machine came out in late 1912, and it's a, a very nice stand-up machine, or upright, and it was in the... Um, uh, modern Renaissance design, as he called it, and I've taken the grill off this one so you can see the uh, unique volume control that Edison used for his large internal horns. And he, as you can see with the horn here, uh, the horn is even decorated in kind of a mahogany to give it kind of a wood grain appearance, even though it's a, a metal horn. And the volume control is very simple. You just move this lever here and muffle the sound, muted it make it softer, opened it to make it loud. There's a very large horn, so this uh, machine gives off a very nice loud sound. And the, uh, as you can see, it has a diamond disc reproducer with a, and at the bottom of that, of course, is the Edison permanent diamond stylus. And the record plays at 80 RPMs, and his, all his records were vertical or Hillendale grooves meaning that the sound was at the bottom of the groove. So we'll play that this for you now, and I've picked an early selection since these machines came out in late 1912 and in 1913 originally. And this was from 1913 and a very nice ragtime number by the Brass Orchestra, Edison's Brass Orchestra, playing the black and white rag.
It's Edison's Brass Orchestra playing the black and white rag on an Edison Diamond Disc 80 RPM vertical groove record from 1913. And the phonograph is an Edison A250 uh, Diamond Disc phonograph from around the same era.